Yeah, it's, this is a really, really good ro road win for us. Uh, I can't say enough about how TCU has been playing all year long and uh, especially at home. So it's a big win for us. And I thought that our team showed a lot of resilience tonight. I mean, we weathered a, a first quarter punch that was part them and part us. But I, I thought that the, the ability for our team to kind of just hang in there throughout the second quarter uh, with some foul trouble and then get back um, regrouped at halftime. Um, and then I thought the difference in the second half was our defensive energy uh, really triggered by this one beside me and our ability to get the ball in the paint. Uh, I thought the biggest difference was being able to play inside out um, in the second half. But again, our defensive energy was, was much, much better in the second half also. Really proud. Um, you know, the only thing I remember about the first time was the last board, uh, which was a significant rebound for them that basically won the game for them. And I thought that um, they still, you know, they scratched and clawed, and but I thought we just we we searched rebounds better today. Uh, they're one of those teams that the floor is so stretched for for you that you really have to just go pursue it. Sometimes it's not about boxing out; it's about going to get it. And I thought we were way better than that than we were the first time. Um, I, I definitely think that it helped. I mean, for sure. I mean, obviously they had to foul some towards the end, but again, I think the most significant difference was us, uh, for us was getting the bigs involved in the game in the, in the second half. Uh, last game, y'all played Kansas State in the third quarter. Y'all had to leave, but y'all uh. Um, Celeste, why don't you answer that? You're, sometimes they know they know more than the coach does when they're out there together and they feel it. I think the communication aspect of just talking each other through everything. You know, n we know the other team is going to score at some point. You know, obviously we try to not let them score, but they're going to score at some point. So I think just not hanging our heads and just you know we're going to go right back down and we're going to score a bucket and then we're going to come back down and get a stop. So I think just you know keeping each other focused and keeping each other in the game and communicating through every little thing. Definitely um, just getting the ball in the paint. You know, we had a mismatch that whole game. So we just needed a post presence down there because they couldn't guard us down there in the paint. And, you know, just if you're open, shoot the ball. You know, attack. Just doing those little things and keep talking to each other and pushing each other. Coach, um, you kind of mentioned this a little bit, but how, uh, Celeste was doing a, a lot of effort work, mm -hmm. especially in the third and fourth. How important was that on the whole atmosphere of, of the team during the game? Well, I think it's huge, um, regardless of whether – she is a freshman or not, she has a, um, an ability to what I call go play to play. And that, to me, that's contagious. Uh, if you can get one or two people to play with that type of effort. And I mean, we knew that we were going to have to have that kind of effort against TCU because they, they play really hard. And I just thought that the beginning of the, of the second half, um, she, she just got her hands on a lot of balls and saved some balls from going out of bounds and it sort of kind of caught fire with our team and um, she's capable of doing that. I mean, I know it takes a lot of energy to do it and it's a lot for a freshman, but she's, she has that type of motor that she can, she can sort of become that identity person for our team. Uh, TCU joins a large group of teams that y'all like one one against uh -huh. so far. Yeah. Um, well, I think it says a lot. I, I think it's crazy that so many of us have lost home games. I mean, that, that to me is the biggest reflection of the parity in the league and how tough it is this year because, I mean, I've been in the league before where nobody lost at home. And it's pretty crazy how many home games people have lost. But, um, I mean, we're all scratching and clawing right now for for bids and for – positioning not only in the Big 12 tournament, um, but also in the NCAA tournament. And um, it's just, it's a tough league. I mean, top to bottom, there's no question about it. It's as good as it's been in a long time. And I said that before the league, before we ever started league play, but because we didn't have as many quality wins maybe um, across the league, even though I thought the SEC challenge should have been some indicator of our league, um, 
it just it's sort of I think now people are starting to pay attention. Yeah, I think um, it was really fun for me to play. And, you know, I was, you know, I usually get tell, told that I don't smile a lot on the court. I think I was smiling out there today. You know, I was having a lot of fun. Um, just, you know, my teammates finding me and then me finding them. And, you know, we're talking, running back down the floor and saying, you know, let's get a stop. Let's go back and let's score. You know, just, you know, I think it was really big for us, our bench, being loud, talkative. When I went on the bench, I was loud, you know. Just, I think we just all need to hear those positive things sometimes and, you know, just help each other out and just know that everything's going to be fine. We just got to play together and play like we know how to play with each other and everything's going to be okay. Thank you all. Thank you.